Oh my god, it's absolutely disgusting. Vanilla bean, but I'm not going back in there, so. What the fuck? I, I just had a gut instinct. Why does it... I have really been feeling <clears throat> under the weather. Um, this is actually this like work pillow thing that I got. <laughs> um, as you can see here, um, this work pillow thing that I got on Amazon and it really helps with your back support while you work. Um, I don't know. It just really, really helps. And then it has this thing. So it also like helps your neck stay in like a really nice, comfortable position. Um, I will try to find a link to this below. I got this a really, really long time ago, but if I can find it, I'll put it below. And, um, yeah, as you can see, I'm like super nasally and congested. So I'm just going to work in bed today. The past two days have been super hectic for me. Honestly, this weekend was like rainy. I wasn't just like, you know, a very like serene, chill space. I really didn't feel like vlogging. So it's been about a week almost since I've been on camera and now I'm not feeling well. So this week's vlog probably won't be that active. So I'll probably combine it with something else. But just check it in and just let y'all know what's going on. Work has been good. I've been definitely ramping up and adjusting. And by the time you see this, you'll definitely have seen um my trip my dallas trip to work so during that training we really got a lot of insight so now i've been back home and i you know you gotta put it to the test we gotta apply it so <clears throat> i've definitely been in that space um so yeah that's where i'm at that's what i'm doing um i hope i feel better friday i'm getting my hair done i'm gonna bring out with me i'm like i'm gonna have some energy for that <laughs> literally like i will have some energy for that because my hair right now um, I had that closure sewing and the closure is finito now. It's been four weeks though, three and a half, almost four weeks. So I feel like the install was worth it because it lasted a month almost. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get another closure sewing, but this time I want a middle part. As crazy as it may seem, I really do miss my middle part now. And I was fiending to get this side part. So I just don't know what's wrong with me. Um, but <clears throat> I get my hair done Friday. I'm going to try someone new. Um, a friend of mine recommended that I go to her i saw her hair and i was just like your hair looks great and she's coloring it like that like i really love the color so yeah i've been looking for somebody who can like give me like six months maybe of just straight up um closure sew-ins because i like the fact that i can just keep the sewing and then they can just constantly like you know just put a new closure on top readjust so that's kind of the vibe I'm going for. Just something a little less low maintenance. And I asked her if we could try doing it with the band, even though it's a sewing glueless. Um, <clears throat> only because I do want to get back in the gym in the next few weeks. My birthday is March 1st. So it is officially like 10 weeks to my birthday. So like a little over two months. So I'm like, I got to get back on my grizzy <laughs> and get in the gym because I love looking bomb on my birthday. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's that. Not feeling it this week, just being a regular girl. So, I'll check back in with y'all soon. I'm about to start working for the day. I'm at the dentist. I'm about to get some things done. So I'm going to talk to you guys when I leave here. And then I'm going to get my hair done. All right, y'all. I was trying to be fancy, so I went to Starbucks and I got a grande frappuccino, and this is pumpkin spice. I told them add a pump of vanilla. I usually only get vanilla beans, so let's see what this is giving because um, it's it's giving me skeptical at this point. <laughs> the color. Let me see. Oh, I smell the spice. <laughs> Um. oh my god it's absolutely disgusting why would i get this oh my god that just ruined my whole morning 
You know I don't drink coffee. It tastes just like coffee. Oh my god, I want the vanilla bean, but I'm not going back in there. So, what the fuck? I I just had a gut instinct. Why does this keep hanging up? Y'all, I don't like coffee. This is too much. Hello. Are you calling me? Well, first things first. I went to the dentist, woke up, and I don't think I can go back to this dentist anymore. I think they're out of my network. They kept pulling up. I didn't have insurance, and I do. Then I came across the street to Starbucks to get um a frappuccino and i was like well you know i never try any other flavors but the same one let me try a different flavor and i hate it <laughs> <laughs> try the wrong one next time try another one you know i don't drink coffee it tastes gross it's like uh, i got a pumpkin spice latte mm -mm. oh i usually get a vanilla bean but you know i never usually drink coffee coming from grenada we didn't drink children or until we drank tea i love the tea but then I went someplace, I went and the person texted me a cup of coffee. That shit was so good. I, from then I started drinking coffee. I don't know how y'all like yeah. it. Mm. Well, now I'm going to be driving 30 minutes back to the house. Drove all the way up here. But anyways. So, I'm back in the house after going to the dentist. Let me put that, I don't want to get copyrighted, but I went to the dentist, y'all, and my insurance changed since I'm at Microsoft now, and um, yeah, I couldn't, couldn't get it done. I have to go to an in-network provider because they're no longer in my network. I don't want to pay out of pocket when I can get it done. Obviously, somewhere else, so stopped at Starbucks. I got a pumpkin spice latte, and I was not feeling it at all in the slightest way. I have been waiting almost two and a half weeks for these sweats. So I'm about to put y'all on because y'all, this year I made a conscious effort. So shout out to Farfetch for this package. But I made a conscious effort to start buying better high quality um, clothes instead of like pretty little things, fashion overs, all that because I feel like they last longer. And Heron Preston's sweats, fire. They are a few hundred. So what I've been doing is trying to get them on sale. The first pair I got, I think I paid like $280 on sale. These ones I paid like about $200 on sale. But I love these for just the vibes. But I wish you could see the quality. And the last time I could only get small on sale. And I was able to snatch an extra small this time. So let's see what this is giving. Let us see what the sweats look like on because I am elated. I'm so excited these came. Like seriously, y'all. And the extra small is just making me so happy. Well, let's see if I like this. Yes, oh, extra small fits perfect. All right, let me tell you guys what I truly, truly like about these sweats. So one, let me just step back so y'all can see how they fit. Hold on. All right, so this is how they fit. I love the things that I love about their sweats and why I want to get them, kept get, wanting to get them in small details. Like I really love the waistband. I feel like it makes me a pair just very like curvy, like not sweaty, if that makes sense. So I really love the waistband on these sweats, phenomenal. I also love how at the bottom of my feet, they create this like baggy effect right at the bottom. So when I have on sneakers, I love that. And then overall, the quality. Like, they're like those pair of jeans that you don't want to take off, so yeah. What really makes me sick is the ones that are my most favorite of the sweats. I actually bought them for one of my exes. They're worth almost 800 now, <laughs> literally. And I want them shits back, <laughs> Don't play. I literally have wanted his design for long. I can never get them on sale, but they didn't have my size. So I got them for him because I was like, all right, well, if I can't get them, I'll still get them for somebody because I love them so much. 
But let me know what y'all think. I love the detail on these. The Heron Preston is in the back. My other ones is on the front right here. But I think you could wear this with all black. You could wear this with, you know, nudes. I got basically a black basic, black and white basic dress for them. Then I got this. And I do like the yellow detail and the orange just to be able to, you know, even stuff like this. Kind of just throw on tees with different color waves with this. I wouldn't necessarily say this matches, but you get what I'm saying. So for about 200, snatch these on sale during Black Friday. And I love the extra small. Fits so much better at the waist. The other ones do not sit on my waist like this. They drop and I have to tie them. But like I said, they create a really cute baggy effect, but wish I could get them an extra small. So definitely would recommend 10 out of 10. I gotta make an effort right now. All right, so I am just getting blown out. Say hey. Hi. <laughs> We about to do a middle part closure sewing. And yeah, no heat for six to eight months. As you can see, this part, my little, this broke really bad. I kept doing a side part. So I really, really want to grow this back. So I'm not going to do no heat for a minute. So I will touch a base with you guys in a little bit my phone you know mm. and i then, thought about like but you have to hold your phone ver uh this way okay so that it's like this uh, you get horizontal mm -hmm. right we're about to style i went for the bust down middle again this time i missed my middle part i have not got middle parts in years got some and then i wanted my side part as soon as i got the side part i said oh no 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 take me back to the middle it's my first time coming, and she's super professional and bomb, so y'all should <laughs> fuck with that. <laughs> but, like, I really like, I really like it. So, we'll be back with the finished results. What? Ooh, what closure, honey? <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Well, I can assure you some of my homegirls may want to come to you after this me, so I'll be sending them your way. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. Thanks. I love this. So you really think you, you don't think you put through the closure? Mm -hmm. Oh, bitch, I'm in line. Hold on, wait. You can't turn it down in the back? Yeah. Oh, shit. It looks like this. I have my hair up and I'm at Ape Sushi. My friend is in town and I'm gonna spend the day taking him to like all the stuff in Atlanta to see if he wants to move here. So we had to stop by Ape and I'm gonna take him to the interlock. So when we get over there, I'm gonna show y'all. So cute, they got blankets here at the rooftop now. All right, let's go order our drink.